Right, so one of today's jobs is going to be installing the electric hookup in the van. Uh, I've went out and bought myself just a new uh, garage consumer unit. I was going to try and salvage one from a caravan, but uh, the one that came out of the caravan that I scrapped just wasn't going to be suitable. So I've went out and bought a brand new unit. I'd say this is uh, classified as a garage slash shed, uh, shed consumer unit. Uh, it's already slightly pre-wired in that the live does already have a bus bar going along into the MCBs and there's also already a blue neutral going up to the bus bar so that's already wired in so where I'm going to be having it I'm going to be mounting it right down next to the uh, light cluster and the hookup itself is going to be popping out of the fake uh, the false fog light that just clips in and out and behind there I'll be able to sit the hookup point so if I'm ever on site or if I want to uh, get the fridge cooled down before I head off I just need to pop out the uh, fake head fog light the hookup that will then just pop out plug it in and away you go so in regards to the consumer unit I say that's the point that I'm going to be wiring in I've just run the cable in at the moment I haven't started wiring anything yet uh, I thought I'd best pick the video up now before I start steaming too far ahead and it's all done so wiring wise, uh, as I said, there's already a live bus bar going from the main trip, which is a 63 amp fuse, and then going across into the other two 16s. That's what that is there for. So to carry on with the wiring, as I said, uh, that's going to be the main input from the hookup. Just drill the hole in the bottom there, and the cables that are coming through from the main power in, you're going to have a live going up to the top of the main power trip fuse so as you can see there there's a brown cable going into that one uh, and then you've got your neutral which is already wired into there uh, the earth bar doesn't have anything on it so you do need to create your own earth in point so again I've got the cable for the power in coming up in and I've got one earth going there then I've got another power lead coming in that's going to be for my plug with the USB connections as well so I've just drilled a hole in the top of the unit for the cable to come through there that's going to be taking the first 16 amp MCB so again you just screw the live into the top your neutral onto one bus bar that already has the neutral on and the earth onto the other one so in effect that's now ready to go that just needs that end wiring onto the back of the plug as I say the power in that's all connected so I've got the main live in onto the main trip I've got the neutral and the earth there as well so I just need to connect that side onto the hookup point which is that so I just need to feed the cables in and like splice the cables off a bit feed them through get them connected up into the chocks then that's going to be the power in sorted I then need to get the plug back in box and mount that onto the wall panel where it's going to be going then feed that cable up into the backing box and wire that onto the back of the plug again you've just got your neutral live and your earths i'm also going to be wiring the fridge for the 240 hookup directly into the fuse box in the previous van i just had one plug connected to the mcb and i had the fridge plugged into that instead i'm actually going to take the plug end off the fridge and have that wired hardwired directly into the mcb so the fridge itself will have a dedicated fuse and then the two plug sockets will also have a separate dedicated fuse just so if the fridge is ever on 240 it's not then going to be potentially overloading one circuit if you had all of the plugs on just the one uh, mcb bar so now i'm just going to start stripping down the wire for the plug-in get that connected to the hookup point and get the back plate for the plug mounted onto the wall get the cables stripped for that get them fed into the backing plate and attached to the plug get the plug stripped off for the fridge and get that cable fed through the bottom i've already got a hole drilled there so i've got to feed that through and then that live is going to be going in the other mcb and again just in normal neutral and earths so i'm going to crack on get some more wiring done and uh, show you what it looks like when it's all finished but i just thought i'd show you the internal wirings of the uh, consumer units just in case you were going to be connecting one yourself and you weren't exactly sure where or how to wire them in that is pretty much how you do it so I'm going to crack on and uh, I'll pick it up once I've got a little bit further along now I've just changed the layout slightly of where the cable is going to be coming in just because of uh, where I'm actually going to be putting it I'm going to be putting it pretty much right down there 
and the fridge cable is going to come in and out behind the side there so I figured that would be best to put through the uh, a side hole instead so I've drilled that out just about to start splicing the cables down for that and as I say that one's going to be going on the other MCB there so I'm going to splice this up get it connected uh, get the other one connected to the fridge plug and uh, that'll be pretty much an even completion All the wiring inside the board is all done. Uh, everything's been checked, uh, just giving it a good tug just to be sure that everything's nice and secure in place. But everything's nice and tidy there. Uh, so now it's just going to be a case of mounting it onto where I need it and connecting the uh, other ends. But that is pretty much how you wire the actual unit itself in. So, time to get it mounted. Well, I've just managed to uh, run the earth cable down through the bottom of the unit and inside the light cluster. Now, I won't actually show up in there or not, probably not very well, but uh, follow the lead there. There's actually a proper uh, grounding earth point with a nut on it. That's a proper one for the actual body itself, so I'm already using that for the reversing camera. So I think I might as well just use it for the uh, hookup as well. So I'm just going to be running the cable straight into there, it's already attached. So now it's time to get the uh, unit mounted on the wall. Uh, for the cable for the hookup point, uh, there's a rubber grommet that you need to take out in there. That I'll just drill straight through it, but when I drill through it, it was still just a pain in the ass to try and get the cable through. So if I could pop it out, uh, then just force the cable over it, squeeze that back into place, and then you'll still have a pretty watertight uh, hole going around as well, just to stop any water going in. And uh, then the cable will then be ready for the uh, hookup point to go on. place just the one cable coming through and that's how far the hookup point will overhang as well so that's nice and acceptable it's not too much but uh, it's okay that so I'm gonna get that wired on the actual plug socket on itself. Uh, it's a USB one so it does have an extra earthen point but it's actually bridged going over to the input so it's still just your normal general uh, live neutral and uh, earth. So once they're in uh, the fascia can go on and then that's the plug all sorted out. I've just finished off the plug, but whenever you're about to do the hookup, always remember to push the cable through the backing hole first. Otherwise, if you're just screwing it onto that, then you go to screw that together, you're just going to come a cropper. So remember, always push the cable through that first, uh, get it up to about there, and then you can crack on and get it all cabled on.
so that is the full RCD consumer unit, fully installed, all in its final position and I've also just had the caravan safety inspector round today and he's had all of his uh, safety trip out uh, like appliances and that and he's certified it all off he said uh, I've done a really good job on this one uh, a lot neater than the last one I was really impressed actually so I've earthed it off from the inside it's got a concealed hookup coming out of the fog light and I've got the 240 plug up there the fridge has its own MCB inside there then the 240 sockets have their own as well so it just means if it's on 240 uh, the fridge isn't going to be overloading the sockets at the same time so to get to the actual hookup point it's just behind the false fog light I've just put a little cable tie on the back of there where I've just drilled straight through just so that I can then hang out and it's not, not going to misplace it and then drive off without your fog light behind there is the hookup point and that's just enough cable as it just hangs out nicely so now if I just connect the hookup to it that is now everything live and just to show you an example I've just got a 240 volt drill here That in. So that is a fully working 240 volt hookup system with RCD trip out switches. And the fridge is wired up to it as well, so you can see the lights on there for the fridge. And back out again. On, off. And I say that's uh, fully individually fused as well. So there you go. That is how I have fitted my. RCD consumer unit with the uh, trip out MCBs inside with a fully concealed hookup point behind the fog light. Hope you found the video useful. Uh, by all means, feel free to check out my channel. I'm pretty much covering the conversion of this entire height up on there. So have a look at that uh, and feel free to do all the usual YouTube stuff as well. Rate, comment, like, share, and subscribe. So I hope you found the video useful and uh, let me know if you did. Cheers. Ta.